scalability refers to the idea of a system in which every app or piece of infrastructure can be expanded to handle increased workloads. A good example would be a web application. Let's suppose you have a web application that gets featured on a popular website. All of a sudden, you have thousands of visitors using the website. When this happens, can the infrastructure handle all of that added traffic? Having a scalable web application ensures that it can scale up and handle uh, that load of visitors without crashing. Crashing or even slow page loads would leave the web visitors unhappy with the application. Typically, systems have four general areas that can scale. Uh, those include disk I.O., memory, network I.O., and CPU or processor. When discussing scalability within the context of cloud computing, you'll often hear about two main ways of scaling. Scaling up or scaling wide. Essentially, it's scaling vertical or scaling horizontal. So let's look a little bit deeper into what each of these means. Vertical scaling, or scaling up, is often thought of as being the easier of the two scale methods. When scaling a system vertically, you simply add more resources to an existing instance. This could mean more memory, faster storage, or even more powerful processors. The main reason this is considered to be the easier option for scaling is that hardware is often pretty easy to upgrade on cloud platforms like Azure, since the servers are already virtualized. There is also typically very little, if any, additional configuration that's required to do this at the software level. Horizontal scaling, however, is a little more complex. When scaling systems horizontally, or scaling them wide, or scaling them out, what you typically do is just add more servers to spread the load across multiple machines. With this type of scaling comes some added complexity. You're now in a situation where you have multiple servers that require general administration tasks, including updates, security, monitoring, etc. In addition, you need to now sync your application, data, and backups across multiple instances. So which type of scaling is better? I don't know if there's necessarily a real answer to this question. Horizontal scaling, which again is scaling out or scaling wide, is often considered a long-term advantage, while vertical scaling or scaling up is typically considered a short-term advantage. And the reason is, is pretty simple. The reason for this is that you can typically add as many servers as you need to your infrastructure. However, at some point, hardware upgrades become implausible, it gets expensive, it becomes repetitive. Azure addresses the scaling issue with a service called Azure Virtual Machine Scale Sets. These Azure Virtual Machine Scale Sets let you create and manage groups of identical load balanced virtual machines. The number of virtual machine instances can automatically increase and decrease in response to demand or even on a defined schedule. These scale sets provide high availability to applications and they allow you to centrally manage, configure, and update large numbers of VMs without too much effort. With these virtual machine scale sets, can actually build out large-scale services in areas such as compute, big data, and even container workloads.